We have some background noise in this video as the unit has started running and we're indoors in our training center. Um, ignore the flashing uh, alert signal there, it's because the tank hasn't been disinfected. Um, in this video we're going to look at the tank and domestic hot water function. So again press this left hand button, find tank. You can see that at the moment the tank is cold, that is the set point it's trying to reach over there. 50 degrees set point we have there. In the menu if you press the left hand button again you can actually change your set points and what you're trying to achieve with your hot water. So we'll run through some of those now. Power for operation is if you just like to boost the hot water temporarily it brings in the immersion to assist as well so if you've got guests over and you'd like to boost the hot water for a quick regeneration um, that is the method that you choose there. Comfort set point um, through the domestic or war settings that we have here we have different set points that we can actually set the hot water to so comfort set point eco and reheat and you can manage your uh, schedule uh, to each one of those if you have different requirements during the day so if we look at comfort set point here we've chosen 50 degrees but uh, that is um, changeable there uh, our eco set point is at 45 degrees our reheat set point is at 45 degrees as well uh, let's move on to schedule in a second. Our heat up mode is actually set as scheduled and reheat. So this is a program timer plus a reheat uh, background 24 hour uh, domestic hot water. Uh, the reheat can be switched off or just have that on completely. So you've got a choice of three schedules here. Uh, reheat just means you've got a 24 hour domestic hot water and it reacts off of a uh, hysteresis or drop in the temperature of the cylinder which you can actually select. So if we go to uh, our reheat set point, we had that at 45 degrees. And our hysteresis for our uh, regen is 10 degrees. So once the cylinder drops by 10 degrees to 35, the reheat mode will trigger it back up to 45. So it gives you a guaranteed background heat, which is useful for secondary returns things like that if you've got a lot of drain or, or strain on domestic hot water during the day. Set point mode on this unit we've got as fixed. You can have weather dependent but we prefer to keep it on fixed. Maximum is the max temperature that anyone could program the domestic hot water to. That just means it's not going to run into these uh, type of figures here, 56, 57 degrees where the heat pump cannot achieve that by itself and it will be using the immersion uh, to do that so really I would stick that down at 52 here uh, this model is capable of doing 52 degrees without use of immersion so I'd fix it there uh, and then if we go back to disinfection so this is important this is done once a week you can actually change the activation time and day when you want that to happen you want that to happen when it's in an unoccupied or um, if you're uh, either not in the property or overnight when there's no strain on the hot water or no usage i.e. Uh, anyone having showers, baths or a secondary return on so you want to ensure that the secondary return is switched off during disinfection operation and finally moving on to domestic hot water scheduling here we've got use the defined schedule. We're going to move on to the day that we'd like to define. Press OK. Press Edit. In this instance, we've got 0500 storage comfort, which we can change the time of there to whatever we like. So that remember our storage comfort was at 50 degrees. 3 p.m. Another storage comfort. And again, you can add or remove schedules as you please. Once you've done that, you can actually copy that day onto the next day and paste onto there. So then Mondays is followed through to Tuesday. Do that throughout the weeks. 
and that is how to set your domestic hot water.